Hello everybody, this is Hani for Raj with Vancouver House Finders and today I want to talk about one of the major mistakes that buyers are making today uh, when making offers on properties. Now look, I know it's the market is cooling down and buyers right now they feel like um, they're kids in a candy store. Like I completely understand that, right? Uh, but I do feel like some people are actually uh, kind of going above and beyond and doing certain things that probably are killing their chances of getting the property that they want. And one of the things is including or trying to get furniture in the deal. Now, keep in mind, you're buying real estate and sometimes furniture is super personal to people. Sometimes furniture has been made by a grandparent, it's been made by a child, it's been made by somebody who, you know, it holds a lot of uh, value for the seller. So one of the things that you should absolutely avoid is trying to get furniture included in the deal that you're trying to, uh, the property that you're trying to get. And and one of the things that you should absolutely, why you should avoid this is because you don't know what the seller, what kind of value the seller is putting on the furniture. So I personally, every time one of my clients, uh, and I learned this early on, one of my clients was trying to buy a property, uh, seller got really offended and she did not want to sell the property to the client anymore. They thought that he was overstepping, how dare he, all this stuff. So it gets into a really big emotional thing. So I would, I personally would always, always, always avoid it whenever you're trying to make an offer on a property. Usually what I tell people is like, look, let's just get this done without the furniture. And afterwards, when it's all complete, then go ask them, hey, would you, are you willing to sell some furniture? Uh, unless the seller indicates it. Sometimes when you go look at a property, seller says, look, uh, I'm moving out of the country or I'm downsizing or whatever. Uh, so you can go to the seller and say, hey, look, can I buy your furniture or can I, are you, are you willing to do that? Even then, I would definitely separate it. I would not put it in the same deal. Um, definitely put it in a different, you know, category or whatever. Put it in a side agreement, we call it. Okay, I hope that was helpful, guys. Please share, comment, and uh, save, uh, subscribe to our channel. I'd love to hear from you uh, about what you think about this. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.